What is happening, Dark Horse Sports Cards fans and viewers? Welcome back to the channel. You got Brody and Sage with another financial breakdown today. We're going to go over the 2020 Hobby Downtown Hunting Part 4 opening. The big one. If you haven't seen it, the big boy. If you haven't seen it, go back, check it out. Um, because we're going to spoil everything. We're going to show you everything that we got. We're going to show you how much money we sold them all on eBay. And uh, we're going to get to the nitty gritty. So Sage, yeah, lead us into it. No, I like what you said there because usually we like to guess how much they're worth. Sometimes we guess. Mm -hmm. This video in particular, we've already sold all of these cards. We're digging out of a hole. We spent a lot of money on these and we're being a little bit more aggressive on selling the cards to try to get some money back so we can rip some more products. We're only saving very, very important cards to us. We're shipping them to PSA. We're saving a couple inventory. So we've already sold off all of these cards and we have the data is in. So let's go through it. Let's jump in. This is the big one because there is five great Jeez. rookie quarterbacks there was four and then over the over the second half of last season a fifth one emerged with jordan love people were throwing jordan mm -hmm. love to the streets and now he was a top performer and his card price is through the roof so we got five rookie quarterbacks in this big names look at these names jalen hurts joe burrow justin herbert tua Tagliovia. Did I get that right? <laughs> yeah, close enough. Jordan Love. <laughs> Tua. Yeah. And some of the non QBs down there uh, Jonathan Taylor, running back, and Justin Jefferson. He's a big name, too. Big wide receiver. Yeah. So, big. A lot big, of big options year. at downtowns and a lot of mm -hmm. options at great rookies. And that's why the price of this box was expensive. So. I don't know. I want another shot at this box. I was looking at all those guys making this slideshow, <laughs> and I want to get a case. So I put up a case here. That's my plea to you. Let's buy a case, ten grand, and let's go downtown hunting for real. <laughs> this is my dream. Hundred thousand. Okay, what were the wait? What were, what were some of the comps of these downtowns? I gotta hear. Like if we pull, if we pull a downtown of. Uh, a, a, a borough. What is what is that selling for? You set your price. If you have a PSA ten downtown borough, whatever you ask for, you get. It's just okay, so right. good. Right. Um, but okay. no, and honestly, I saw them around the PSA nines around a thousand, and PSA tens were around two thousand for some of these. Okay, so but we would have to pull a lot of good stuff to get anywhere close to ten thousand dollars. Yes, but you got eighteen boxes in these cases. Eighteen <laughs> boxes. So I was going to say 100,000 likes, we do it, 10K. We have a P.O. box. If somebody out there does want to buy us a case, we do promise we will, <laughs> we will open the case. Right, Brody? Can we promise that? <laughs> okay. If someone wants to buy this case for us and send it to us, we will open it live on here. <laughs> we'll do a live stream, and we'll give you every card yes. other than the downtown that we pull. We will – We'll keep the downtown and every other card you can. But have. if that's a deal breaker, we'll give you the downtown too. We'll give you everything. <laughs> we'll just we'll just break the whole all the cards for you right here yeah. live. So. Oh man, that's fun. We're gonna have start having people send us like blasters with <laughs> notes, being like, "Please break this live on air for us." Yes, that would actually be pretty funny though yeah. to do that to a live episode like that. But all right, all right. So here's some of the babs. Hopefully, it's not too small on your screen, but um, we got. Four cards that were numbered or colored or something. We sold them all. And this one in particular, unfortunately, Robbie Anderson out of 25. This guy was fine. He's really skinny. I kept thinking he'd get injured. <laughs> and watching him play his rookie year and his second year, he was always so fast. But I just, I don't know what happened to him. Somebody put in the comments what happened to the guy because I haven't heard his name in a long time. And... <laughs> who is ever out there got him for a dollar 25 and I didn't know if the tracking number was sensitive information, but so I just kind of like exited that. Can they see? <laughs> like, I didn't want them to look up the address of whoever bought this. And, and yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. It's so a good point. I, I have no idea. I hid it. And then the other tracking numbers that I left on there, it's like half of the tracking number. So some guy okay. out there 
that could possibly hack the rest, like some pat, some like, <laughs> some like forcing the, the tracking number if they want to spend hours. I don't know why you would want to look up some, I mean, I guess maybe, maybe you bet a dollar on that card and then you got outbid by a dollar 25 and now you've been, uh, you yeah. want to seek vengeance on him. I don't know. Knock on the door and say, here's 20 bucks. Give me the card. Um, yeah. Know, that's tough. Twenty five, a dollar twenty five is that's tough. And it's die cut too. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, so, uh, that was a swing and a miss for us there. Yeah, so we got twenty one dollars here, and it was all about that Justin Jefferson over there. That's the real bad. Yep. Ten dollars for a gridiron kings uh, insert Justin Jefferson. So twenty one, and that's what I, I wanted to make a point on this slide. Like you not only have to pull the lucky. Like out of 25, that's insane low number card. You have to get that. Mm. Then you have to get the player. So like, I know it's stating the obvious, but you got to get lucky twice just to even have mm -hmm. it. And then you need the right player. And uh, both are very, very rare. So it's just hard. It's hard to get uh, the right cards. But we had five shots, at least seven shots with great rookies. And we got uh, Robbie Anderson. All right. So Hall of Fame, all stock is what you've been the marking the disrespect him the he disrespect is on the ballot in 2024 so he is not, yeah he's gonna get in yeah he's gonna he's get in right in. away i was thinking maybe we should have sold this on the week he gets elected to the hall of fame and <laughs> yes uh, we should that have was our fault because it only went for 13 dollars, and there were a lot of people you made a short for the people you made a short that has you pulling it and I'm a little negative Nancy on it. And everybody's blasting me in the comments. Well, you know, all those people that were blasting me in the comments, how great he was, where were you at on the eBay listing? Cause you were not present. In this. What number was that? Cause I, I want to track this card to see if someone resells it when he gets in the hall of fame and it goes for $45. Yeah. It wasn't his Jersey number. I know that it was out of 35, but yeah, we can track this okay. specific card. And, all right. uh, I love how I, I, that's, I get, I guarantee that's what's going to happen. Yeah. And somebody in the comments said, if you need one yard, Mike, I, I thought this was a funny comment. So shout out whoever posted this. I don't know if you saw it, but it said, if you need one yard, Mike Allstott will get you three yards. If you need three yards, yes. Mike Allstott will get you three <laughs> yards. And if you need five yards, Mike Allstott <laughs> will get you three yards. And I was laughing because he was just so <laughs> unstoppable. It was like, it was like the tush push before the tush push. It was just like, Handed to Allstock for that short yardage gain, and now Jalen Hurts uh, has that perfect. He had, he had like three. His shoulder pads were three times bigger than anyone else's shoulder pads. Yeah. I swear, he, his like upper body was just so much bigger than everyone else's. I've actually never seen the tush push be stopped ever. I haven't watched every Eagles game, but this one time it was this two point conversion uh, in the playoffs, and and they just said, all right. We're from the one yard line. Let's go for it. And the and Jalen Hurts gets stopped on the tush push, right? And he doesn't make it. The only time I've never seen it work. And then they show the replay. And the guy, this is off topic, but the guy grips Jalen Hurts' face mask and like rips him, rips his full head off. And that's the only way to stop the tush push. So the <laughs> only way to stop, and it wasn't called. You have to you have to grip his face mask and not get a call. So the only way to stop Mike Allstott, I don't even know if grabbing his face mask would work. But, yeah, I remember I was a kid and watched him, and he was legit. And, uh, you know, I, let's go Mike He's Allstott. a fullback, though, so I yeah. get it. I get it. But I also just want his rookie cards. Let's find his rookie year, and let's go hunting for his rookie cards. That's fine with me. So comment down what below if you want to see yeah, the, the Allstott rookie. Hunt. Comment down below what year his rookie year was. <laughs> no. Yeah. And then Troy Aikman, 24 bucks. That's pretty good. That was one, you know, it's only at a 299. We would like a little lower number there, but Troy Aikman is is an all-time great Hall of Famer. It's a cool, it's a really cool card that I mean, and I've talked about this in other videos. Like we've pulled a lot of these Canton Kings, and they are sick cards. So if you get a big name player on one of these cards, they it will sell for good. Yep. It is it is a highly valuable card. Yep. All right, so here's some of the rookie QBs that we did get. We did pull a Joe Burrow. Uh, I wanted to put that picture out there because I was really proud of that picture for the eBay listing. We pulled a, a sick picture. Jalen Hurts, and we pulled a, a Justin Herbert. The Herbert was on the rookies parallel, which isn't, which that parallel wasn't as popular, so it didn't go for that much. And then the red, the red proof. 
I don't really know the difference between the red and the blue proof. If, I don't know if one's more rare, but it's um, red I think I, I think it has to do more with like where they're pulled from. So I think like blue proof might be pulled from retail. Got it. I don't so, know if you can. Oh, you can pull red from. You, well, I, again, I don't know. I, I, does Panini do the same thing year after year? I highly doubt it. So I'm, I might be a speaking out of my butt yeah. right now. So I'm just going to zip it. <laughs> but when you sell an auction, it's only seven days. A lot of fans will miss it. A lot of fans will see it. And there's some randomness in the sales. And usually auctions, if you're a buyer, you, you see an auction and you think now's your chance to get a deal, right? So uh, usually auctions go for less, but this auction of Joe Burrow went for a little bit more than comps and I was really happy with it. So I wanted to take some credit for having such a great picture. So I put the picture here and, you know, I don't know if uh, it's, if it's the picture, somebody supporting us and, and really likes Joe Burrow, they're happy to pay a little bit more than comps. But also, like if you look at comps, they're they're often all over the place. Somebody bought that one on the high end. So I'm happy to be a part of a sale that was uh, <laughs> getting us paid on a higher end of the comp. So appreciate you out there if you paid 40 for that Joe Burrow. You're keeping the channel alive. And we needed it. <laughs> yeah, especially in this pack. So... 460 out the door. I don't know if I mentioned that, but this was almost a $500 box. So yeah, holy smokes. We got some rookie QBs, no downtown, $21 worth of Babs, $38 worth of Legends, $63 worth of rookie quarterbacks, $20 bulk. I say fight me because help, you know, if you disagree with the $20 bulk, fight me in the comments, <laughs> have better way to do it. I didn't want to go through and add up a bunch of 50 cent cards. <laughs> $142 total. So there's a little bit of value there, but I would say 70% loss. And you're the one who kind of were telling me about this offline, light money on fire series. So maybe <laughs> yeah, we need to change that's what, it. That's what the name should have been. Downtown hunting. We open <laughs> money. Blazing. We open, we open four hobby boxes, probably close to, Twelve hundred dollars, maybe. Yeah, I would say around there, maybe eleven hundred dollars, and and I think we might have gotten back like four hundred. Yeah, so we lit money on fire. I mean, it, it, we four. got we got four. We had four dud hobby boxes back yeah. to back to back to back. Yeah, if you Brutal don't get a downtown, stuff. you need a big rookie, some a lot of base rookies. You need some numbered cars, something, some something. numbered good cars, something, man. Yeah. So I mean, our, our best cards out of all of that was probably the Joe Burrow, the forty dollar Joe yeah. Burrow. Yeah. So. So, anyways, it's brutal. Looking back, brutal. are you glad we went to downtown hunting? Well, we learned a lot. Yeah. We learned never to do this series yeah. again. <laughs> we learned about. Uh, a lot but of no, movies. it was. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was fun to. I love opening older products. You know, I don't know if that's something that our viewers enjoy as much as we do. But I, I definitely like going back and, and pulling some people where you're like, oh, this guy's a stud or holy cow, this guy's not even in the league anymore. So it's always interesting. And, and also for us, it's, I think it's good, too, to open some of the older product just so we can get a little bit more familiar with yeah. it. Um, seeing how we are just opening a lot of stuff for the first time now. Yeah. It's nice to kind of have an idea of like, this is what kind of prism's been like. This is what select looks like. This is what mosaic looks like. So yeah, uh, we could probably do it. That makes a little bit more financial sense because <laughs> this definitely put us in a hole. So if you guys are still watching, shout out to each and every one of you. Definitely like this video immediately yeah. to help us as well. Uh, it's completely free. But yeah, hopefully it was good entertainment. Hopefully people enjoyed watching, um, watching it. And obviously hobby boxes are always fun to rip. Yeah. And... Put in the comments if you have any other challenges or, or anything. This is kind of like the summary of the downtown hunting. But uh, maybe Kaboom, and uh, I talked about in the last video, maybe we go Optic downtown Not hunting. this year. Yeah. Not Kaboom this year. Jeez. Yeah. Have you seen that? No, what? These people are like opening cases of like blasters and like not hitting a Kaboom at all. Oh. Yeah, maybe it's more guaranteed yeah. in the hobbies. But anyways, there's, there's these cool inserts and uh, – 
you know, uh, and I think we, we can spoil it, right? You and Kelsey, it's already out there. So oh, that video's out. You guys yeah. did mm-hmm. uh, get a downtown. So uh, it wasn't in the downtown hunting. I wasn't there, but uh, when you called me and told me it was before the video went live, I was so happy that we that we actually got it. So part of me feels, even though we didn't get the downtown in the hunting, feels complete that we did have a downtown because uh, I got the downtown right here. So. Uh, I think everyone in Dark Horse Sports Cards needs to get a downtown. I've pulled one. I think you and Kelsey need to pull one. Yeah, I think we all need to be on. I'm interested. The same level here. I'm interested. I think Kelsey. We have some blasters. I think Kelsey's gonna pull one. I love it. I love it. But yeah, maybe I'll save mine for the next for the Drake May downtown. That's maybe what I'll save mine for. Yeah, or yeah, you're doing the optic. You want the optic downtown <laughs> the, is what you want. You're gonna get downtown. Drake May one of the one of one Drake oh, May get downtown. That'd be so Bring. Make make it so this series is barely a break even series for us. <laughs> we had to pull a super fractor to break even. <laughs> yeah. uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank yeah. you so much. We we obviously enjoyed uh ripping it and uh we really do appreciate all the support you guys have shown on this channel. We're gonna keep ripping packs. Hopefully you do the same. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And we'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.